Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's talk about subframe 5, the final subframe, 5 out of 5 subframes. And again, remember that the first 3 subframes contain data that gets repeated every 30 seconds, while subframe 4 and 5 consist of 25 pages, and each of those pages will have different kind of data in it, so it takes 25 transmissions of 30 seconds per 5 subframes to get all the pages transmitted of subframe 4 and subframe 5. So here is pictorially the 25 pages of subframe 5. Now subframe 5 is much more simplistic than subframe 4 in that 24 of the 25 pages all have the exact same data structure. They contain the Almanac data of the first 24 satellites in the constellation. And so you can see that here's the Almanac data for SV1, for SV2, for SV3, all the way to SV24 for the first 24 pages. And the data structure for all of those pages is identical for all 24 pages. The only one that's different is the very final page, page 25, which contains three main things. It contains the SV health information for the first 24 satellites 1 through 24. It contains an almanac reference time, which is TOA, time of almanac. And then it contains the almanac reference week. That's the week number of the almanac because we want to know what week we're in because we want to be able to associate the almanac data that we get transmitted down from the satellites to a particular time in the year to a particular week and then of course the time within that week is indicated by the TOA. So we want to know exactly what time is associated with these Almanac data transmissions from the satellite. Again it takes 12 and a half minutes to get all that data transferred from the satellite to the receiver. Now notice that this is contained within every satellite so every satellite sends the same 25 pages of data from the satellite to all the receivers on the Earth, and so therefore it is repeated, so any one satellite contains all the information of all the other satellites. Now the Almanac data is not as accurate as the ephemeris data, so once we lock on to a satellite, we then want to get the ephemeris data from that one satellite, because each satellite has its own ephemeris data. That data is much more accurate than the Almanac data, so we then are able to get very close to where exactly the position of the, uh, the space vehicle is, the satellite is, and from that we should be able to find out exactly what our position is on the Earth very, very accurately. This is just to get you into the ballpark, so this information allows a receiver to kind of figure out about where each of the satellites are. Once we lock onto one, then we get the ephemeris data, and then we can figure out exactly where the satellite is to a very, very accurate amount. So that's the difference between the Almanac data and the ephemeris data, and these are the contents of subframe 5.